Mr. Howard? Uh, Peter Willis is here to see you. Lauren Willis's husband? Yes, of course. I'm moving. You can go home, thank you. Peter. Nelson Howard, how are you? You're uh, an engineer, right? Huh? Yeah, civil engineer. Very good. Obviously, my wife's spoken about me. Hmm, why don't you uh, take a seat? Can get you a drink? Yeah, anything's fine. Scotch it is then. Tragedy. What happened to Lauren? It's a shocking business. I feel for you. I feel loss. Obviously, if there's anything I can do. Yeah, thanks. How are you, uh, how are you coping? Well, it's been a week since... I couldn't bring myself to move anything until this morning. And I found something. That. Why would she have that? Yes. Well, Peter, your wife did come to see me some time ago and engage my services as her divorce lawyer. When did she come to see you? I'm sorry. But I just can't discuss it with you. I'm sorry. You know, they think I did it. They think, they think I killed her. What should I do? What can I do? I can't advise you, I'm sorry. The best I can do is perhaps arrange for one of my associates to deal with you. I don't need another bloody lawyer. I need the truth. I mean, sure, things have been a bit rough at home lately. I admit that. But not enough to make her want to leave. Over ten years we were married. It's been almost 21 for me and my wife. You know, even after all that time, you can still never really know anyone. I guess not. So as I said, I apologize that I can't be of any more assistance, but uh, was there anything else? Yeah, there is. I also found this. Yeah? Well, it's not her usual phone. Well, maybe it's a business phone. Well, she didn't tell me about it. Maybe she just got it. Maybe it's new. Maybe it was a gift. No. I reckon there was someone else. Really? Have you, uh... Have you mentioned that to the police? About an affair? No. They don't have a clue. But maybe I should tell them. Well, yeah, I mean... Do you think that's a good idea, Peter? Well, I mean... Your wife's just been murdered. You go to the police and tell them that... You think maybe she's having an affair and then... Like you said, they already th think you're a possible suspect. You tell them that she's having an affair and they're just going to have more evidence against you, aren't they? Evidence against me? How can there be any evidence against me? I didn't fucking do anything. There can't be any evidence against me. Well, all the more reason not to give them any. That makes sense, doesn't it? Look, if she really was having an affair, then doesn't it stand to reason that maybe it was the other guy who did it? Maybe it was the other guy who killed her? Well, how do you figure that? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want his wife to find out about it. I'm oh, sorry, Peter. This, this, this really is starting to sound rather far-fetched. One week ago, I was a happily married man. And today, my wife lies dead in the fucking ground and I find out that she was probably having an affair. Nothing at this point sounds too far-fetched to me. Okay, just... Fuck! Calm down, woman. Take it easy. <sighs> Shit. 
I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right, I understand. Look, uh, the only advice I can give you... Peter, look at me. Okay? You need to go home, get some sleep, just try and stay calm, stay focused, and don't say anything to anyone that you may later regret. Okay? No. I have to know. I have to know. I see you haven't... You haven't already checked the phone. No. I was at home, staring at this fucking phone, and I couldn't even bring myself to turn it on. Hmm. You want another drink? There's not much on here. A couple of messages, a few phone calls. Oh, hang on. There's one here asking for a meeting. But there's no name attached to the number. I'm gonna call it. You sure that's a good idea? It's ringing. <laughs> <laughs>